Hi, this is Ed with Ritchie Industries. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about our thermal tubes. We have thermal tubes available in various lengths. This is to accommodate various depths at which you're going to want to bury your water line for your waterer. We have a four foot top thermal tube, a two foot top thermal tube, a two foot extension, and a one foot extension. These have two inches of insulation, two inch sidewall. This provides a nice barrier for the temperature resistance from your, from your ground to your water line. When you run your water line, you're going to want to put it right up through the center of your thermal tube. You don't want to have your water line touching the side. That will propagate frost from the ground to your water line and cause freezing problems. You are, what we're trying to accomplish here is a nice gap, air gap, around your water line. So you don't want to be stuffing this full of insulation or other items. I'm going to show you now how you're going to, uh, say you wanted to bury your water line six foot deep. We're going to go ahead and use our four foot top thermal tube. And we're going to put that on top of our two foot extension. Before you're ready to put this in the ground, we're going to want to run duct tape around the seam, seal that off a little bit better so you don't get any water entering your thermal tube. And when you install this, you want to make sure that you have the top of the thermal tube even with the top of your concrete pad. You will see on the bottom that this has the indent on the ID. That's the side that you want down and the side that has the writing and the flat, that's what you want up when you install it. For more information about our thermal tubes or other Ritchie products, please visit RitchieFount.com.